issue that has been taken care of as Wake gets ready to, uh, to jump. Christine Mora, the uh, Canadian, jumps it, and we are underway. She will have more options in her versatility. And just eight threes in the first seven games. There's a look at the Miami starting five. As you mentioned, very hard heavy. Miami and Bambu with what she has been able to do. And if you're Jen Hoover, this is what you don't want to see. Offensive rebound. Monty with the basketball, and the talented point guard puts it up. Wake Forest able to get it on the follow. Forrest, as, as you mentioned, not a lot of uh, depth. Jen Hoover still trying to figure out her rotation off the bench. And another shot by Mora. Here's Conti. Now, doesn't have numbers, and it's knocked away. Good turnover forced by Miami. Shot is off the mark by Banks. About the hustle plays by her team to beat an improving Clemson team. Yeah, they were not happy. Laura with it. Nice. Laura once again in the, in the thick of things on the glass. Oh, knocked away. Miami forcing another turnover. Kelsey Marshall has the clear path started. The first six games has been coming off the bench. The Swede with the miss. It was three for eight from long range. It just looked very comfortable from behind the arc. She needs that shot to set up her drive. At December 20th, the last time they played, and City Baba coming in to her potential. And um, right here, just a nice sweep and go. And what I like about this score by City Baba, I was reading they're expecting for Coach K to possibly be back for that game after some contact tracing COVID-19. So it would be great to have him back on the sidelines. Follow doesn't go either. That was uh, Neve Brown with the initial shot. And now Kelsey Marshall in the open court. That's where Miami wants to be. These definitely need to slow down, work through their offense, and work through their options not turn the ball over, and also they need to get on the glass. That's been a challenge as well. Pursuing the all-time assist record at Wake Forest. Miami showing some pressure. Why not for some of the turnovers, but very good execution by Wake Forest. And some pressure, Marshall. Forcing yet another turnover, and then Banks puts it in. You see the points off turnovers, goodness, 14 zip in favor of Miami. So two thirds of their points coming off of miscues. So Wake not getting a lot of second chance opportunities when they do miss. Wake Forest now with five offensive fouls in this game. Had to say that, didn't you? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> offensive put back this time. One of the few opportunities off the offensive glass for Wake. Surprise there wasn't a call there, at least from our angle. It looked like there was contact. How about that? Goni, the freshman from Lincoln, Nebraska. And so far that has led to them being in a double-digit deficit. In the paint and then put off nicely. That's Anaya Ford with the basket. Miami into a man on this possession. Oh boy. You know, again, I mentioned they haven't played a game in 18 days. And they look rusty to start for sure. And that's not to take anything away from Miami, though. Right now they're on an 8 nothing run after that basket. by Moore to cut off teased, if you will, when I went on the show and I saw the Deacon hat. And I don't have one. I need a Deacon hat. Uh, Christina Moore is running the Deacon hat. Boy, Miami is uh, going scoreless now on six straight trips while Wake has made a terrific run to come back from the dead in this one. Now Conti with the ball in her hands. Awesome. 
Bronson's step through doesn't go, but the ball stays. Onto the floor, General weighing her options, gets the screen from Mora. I'm going to try to get it to Mora if I have the chance, but trying to get out as well, the clock is running out. Man to man defense here for Wake Forest, but they were able to get back and set up their defense because it was a not a live ball turnover. Emmy had gone over six minutes without scoring going back to the second quarter. And now with three on the other side, that splashes home. For unable to hit back-to-back -back threes. Turn around, and it just dribbles in. <laughs> Roxa makes, I mean, to pivot around not once but twice and still find your footing. That was a, that was a nice shot. And it gave Wake Forest what turned out to be a short-lived lead as Marshall found a nice path to the basket. They will look to take the threes away from Marshall, and she can get to the rim, as the rest of this Miami team can. Another turnover forced by Miami. This is what got them the lead in the first place. Three on two break, and that's a nice look. Figured and rescheduled because of the COVID protocols that teams keep going in and out of. Oh my goodness, that was a sweet feed by Mbondu. About Georgia Tech and Clemson and how great of a game that could be. It's Kira Fletcher, I agree with Coach McGraw, has really turned it on. And speaking of turning it on. Noticed a difference in Mora this year. Oh yeah, she has really firmed up and, and, and trimmed up and Oh, you gotta get lost in it, especially after the new year. Yeah, I have no idea. What day is it again? Makes <laughs> that good hesitation. And Hoover was concerned about Wake Forest rebounding coming in, and they are plus eight in that category. Mora oh, continues on her quest. The key, and that's an open, easy shot. And Mora, 18 points, 9 of 11 from the floor for Wake, and then the defensive play. And an opportunity in the open court, one of the few chances, Harrison. Spear with a little step back, and she buried the three. Jewel Spear, that's a freshman we were just talking about. Wake Forest now up by five. Trailed by 11 in the second quarter, and that's a tough shot for Houston. Work for that. And then on the other end of three. One point away from tying her career high. So the two of them doing a lot of work on the offense, and that is a nice drive. Jewel Spear, there's that freshman again. Toys under control. NC State was certainly after her, and then one thing that Jewel Spear wanted to do was to come to a program that was still building, trying to put Wake up to a, a, the next level. And that is a much needed three. With that pass, and, and Katie Meyer said that she is a very good assist giver. We just haven't gotten to see her full game. And speaking of full game, Ivana Watson. Layup. A short rebound taken down by India Banks. Banks has had a, a very quiet offensive game with just four points, but that'll work. And I didn't like that last possession. I didn't know where your bread is buttered. Bondu with the basket, and that 10 point lead is going down to four, but just momentarily as the three is nailed. That breaks a 6 0 run. Six point lead as we just go under five minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and Wake Forest gives it up. Turnovers really hurt them in the first quarter. Marshall averaging about two and a half threes per game, just one of eight from beyond the arc tonight. Lots of, boy, just split it. Step through. Two things down for Wake. The clock is their friend right about now. I got to think they're looking for Ivana Lotsa in the half court here. And Miami is slow to recognize Lotsa. She has been terrific here in the second half. And now Marshall hits a huge three. Getting it over to Marshall. They're going to kick it out. Banks to tie it off the back rim. And Wake Forest hangs on. And they beat Miami 63-60. to 60.